in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, how to handle control events um, most of the controls that are provided by the by Visual Studio is they have one or more events that is associated with them for example uh, on this page when I drag the error creating control button on our server equals to okay uh, do you know, you know the reason why that is because we deleted the run out server earlier on run out equals to server okay so uh, let me fix that uh, right uh, so if I go back to the design view we shouldn't have a okay what is the problem now let's see run out equals to server what's the problem okay I really don't want to care about the problem I just want to delete it and drag any button so I can continue with my video okay now that we have this button here um, the best way to see the events that are associated with the this button is to click on the event tab we can see this event tab is like the light the light bolt or the you know like a lightning lightning the one that happened before before it thunder so if you click on that you can see the uh, click event command data binding so we have all these events this event that's associated with um, the button another form another way to see the um, events that's associated with a control is to actually select you can select the control from here if you go to the source view if you choose like the button one if you choose the button one control now you can see that we have all these events if I click on this it will be automatically added to a page let me show you what I mean let me delete this button one dot click event so let's save it so now if I choose button one if I choose uh, where is button one now button one and I choose the click event you see the button one click event has been added so that's one way to add it another way to add it is the one I show you previously let me show you again let me save this go to the design view uh, select the control uh, wait for it to be shown at the properties I don't know why it's taking come on button control okay uh, okay click on this lightning and double click on it when you double click on it it will be provided here so um, now let me show you runtime it's probably must appear once but section was over three we see the up the location okay oh the reason why we got in an error header was because remember when I was doing the page uh, the video on the web uh, the namespaces I had it in namespace inside here uh, or system that where I had it is namespace and also I also I had it here so that's why it's saying that it must only appear once so if I delete that so we should be alright now should be alright now so uh, right now as I was saying you can see that the event this is called the event handler the button score on the, this one button one underscore click is called the event handler because what happened is is the one handling the event for the button one because button one as we described here it has a method called on click so on click that it calls this method and uh, execute it on the server it execute this event you send this event to the server to execute it also there are two parameters if you, if you, as you can see here there are two parameters this object sender and the event tags e so this object send that it represent the control that raised the event so in this case when this uh, code gets to the server the, the sender represents 
this control which is which would be the button one so the server knows that it's the button one that races because we can have so many remember we can have so many buttons on our page so how does um the server knows who has sent the information the only way the server knows who sends the information is through this object that actually sends the information and the second parameter is the uh, event tags which we this uh, event tags it usually send additional information to the server so that the server knows if there's another uh, additional information that needs to be processed for example uh, this button right now it doesn't have any other uh, information the only information is the, the button has been clicked but I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can have another information being sent to the server so I'm not sure if I should do that now or if I should do that in the next video so that you can see that this parameter can also be used so let me actually demonstrate that now so if I had um, let me go to the design view and had and that button which is going to be the image button and uh, let me set the URL of the button okay um, let me say the button let me say the the image URL image URL of the button to this particular right so we have this big image button so if I double click there now can you see that this image in this one this one have the uh, the, the default uh, event hacks but this one has its own particular uh, second parameter the reason why this one has a second parameter which is the image click event hacks uh, maybe I should demonstrate that to you let me demonstrate what it does to you if I had a label to let me go to the design view add a label to application and set the label 1 to let's say label 1 label 1 the text dot text equals in 32 dot dot pass no, no let me just do e dot x dot the string I'll explain what I'm trying to do here. So, if I go back, let me run my application. Uh, what's the error now? Ah, we're still having the same error. Web.config file. So, um, anyway, let me go back to uh, the page. I'm trying to sh explain what is going on. The image. This image, it also sends the coordinates because you know the x and y coordinate. If you've done your mathematics, you know the x and y coordinate. Every time I click on the um, this image, the label should be able to tell me what is the x coordinate I clicked and what's the y coordinate I clicked. So, because we have an extra information right now, this image button has the object sender. The object sender tells the server is the image button one that sends this event and also it has the image click event hex e which tells the server that there's an extra information that you have to process and this for me this information are the um, the x and y coordinates so you have to process those events too so um, that is why it has this information don't worry I'm going to fix the problem and in the next video I'm going to show you what I'm trying to achieve thank you